If you ever speak to an average person, ask them about the job they work, the life they live, the majority of them will say that they would love to have their own business, have some passive income, and just make money whilst sitting on the beach. They go on and on about how it's their dream and they'd love to achieve it. And then you ask them the magic question, why haven't you done it yet? And that is when you very quickly find out why the majority of people never succeed at becoming entrepreneurs. The amount of excuses that will come out of that person's mouth is insane. People form this massive bubble of excuses that protects them from the pain of change and taking responsibility for changing their own life. But most people don't see it as that. They see it as genuine reasons that they haven't done it yet. Next time you speak to someone and they have this dream, ask them why they haven't done it yet and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Or if you have this dream for yourself, ask yourself why you haven't done it yet. If you spoke to me when I was still down bad and told me to start my YouTube channel and a business, I would have told you that I'm introverted. At the time, nobody really knew the real me except my girlfriend, and I lived a very private life. I would have told you that YouTube is a waste of time because I've spent the last few years trying to learn coding. I had this massive sunk cost fallacy. And by the way, sunk cost syndrome is the worst thing you can do to yourself. If you want to do something, but you're not because you've put time into something else, you are going to die disappointed in yourself. This feeling of sunk cost in something is the biggest killer of dreams, so be careful. I would have also told you that YouTube is already quite mature. What if it's too late to start a YouTube channel and get famous? Or what if YouTube didn't exist three years from now? I would have told you that I can't speak to a camera, obviously because I've never done it before. And I also would have told you that posting on YouTube might as well be like playing the lottery. You might be posting for two years and nothing will come of it and then you've wasted all that time, but that mindset comes from giving up before you've even started. If you post and you genuinely care about your videos and you try to get better every single time you post one, you will be successful. Think about this. My brain made a life of mediocrity my only option. The thoughts I had, my dominant thoughts, were all against me, so of course my life was terrible. One part of you is sick of the life you're currently living. You don't want to work your job anymore, but the other side is keeping you stuck. It's scared of change, and every time you try to do something about it, it pulls you right back to where you were. Don't take it at face value. Those excuses aren't valid. It's just your brain being scared of change. Start by yourself or work with me. I help you personally to escape your job in 60 days, otherwise you don't pay me if it doesn't work. That's how I make the majority of my income from this channel. You can literally pick anything you want nowadays and make money from from it. The specific excuses you're making right now, they don't really matter because none of them are valid. Think about this for a second. Use the logical part of your brain rather than the emotional part for once. Business works. Anything you can think of, there are people making money with it. There's people out there with way better excuses and they still made money. If you just put all of those beliefs aside for a year, actually try, then it's almost impossible not to make money. And even if you've already started, ask yourself, what excuses have I been making to myself lately that have been holding me back and limiting my potential? The excuses that you're making to yourself stem from the beliefs you have in your head. A few months ago, when I was starting this channel, I had a few negative beliefs myself. I thought that if I started trying to switch over to this business, trying to help people make money online, that nobody would want to buy what I sell. I thought that I wasn't a good speaker because on the other channel, I used to script every single word that I would say in a video. And I also thought that people wouldn't find my knowledge useful, even though I had made six figures online and I had literally achieved the dream that so many people start online business for in the first place, which is moving to a country like Thailand and just living over there. I also had a lot of negative beliefs around sunk cost. I put a lot of time into learning coding and I got really good at coding. But at the same time, I knew that it's really not what I wanted to carry on doing. So what did I do? I did exactly what you should do when you get these thoughts, which is write 
all of the negative beliefs you have on a sheet of paper. Then write those beliefs again, but write the opposite of them. So if you're not a good speaker, write, I am a good speaker. Then just start the damn thing you want to start and start reading those new beliefs, the ones that are flipped around from your old beliefs every single day and start proving to yourself that those new beliefs are true. I started doing this and I started reading those flipped beliefs every single day. And even though it didn't change immediately, it changed a lot faster than I expected. I only wrote those beliefs down a few months ago and already some of them are starting to come true. Gradually, one by one, those beliefs are being proved wrong. From writing at the start that nobody would want to buy what I sell, nowadays I have at least three calls every day with people interested in working with me. From writing down that I wasn't a good speaker, my speech now has improved a ton. I'm still working on it and it's still not perfect, but at the start of this channel, recording an eight minute video took me 45 minutes. Now when I record a video, I only stumble on my words a few times during the whole recording. I went from writing down in the negative beliefs that nobody would find my knowledge valuable to now hopping on calls with clients, people I work with, and at the end of the call, they literally say that I'm changing their life. The best thing you can do to your belief systems and your life is to adopt the core belief that you can do anything. If you want to be a rapper, you can be a rapper. If you want to be a UFC fighter, you can be a UFC fighter. And if you want to escape your job and just live a life of freedom, then there's no reason you can't do that too. I adopted this belief a few years ago and even though I didn't believe it at first, I started acting regardless and I've been proven wrong again and again. Now when I want to do something, there's still some negative beliefs that creep in, but because I have that core belief that I can do anything, I recognize that those limiting beliefs are just my brain being afraid of change. Sometimes I have this weird pull when I play the guitars that are sometimes in the background of my videos that one day I can be a big musician and it will be really cool to play on a stage in front of five, 10,000 people. Maybe when I've finished the main quest line of life one day and I'm doing side quests, that can be something I can do. And the difference between my brain and the brain of an average person is that that doesn't just stay a dream. It should be a genuine possibility in your head because if you put your mind to something, you can do anything. To get my personal help with making a lot of money online or you don't pay if it doesn't work, click the link in the description. See you next video.